Finally, SpaceX gets first humans on Mars in five years. Space has always been an interesting topic for most of us. But still, we have very little knowledge about our universe. Ever since, humans were able to land on the moon about half a century ago. There was no coming back to explore more about space, but there was an indefinite period of halt where no human went on the moon. But soon, things were going to change ever since Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, wanted to land humans on Mars. And he is gearing up for that. Let's dive deeper into this video to know more about that. Recently in a podcast, Musk was asked when he thinks SpaceX will land human beings on Mars. Musk with a mere pause said that the best case scenario would be in the next five years, and the worst case would be 10 years. It is commendable considering that the discussion is about sending a living, breathing human on the surface of another planet, a prospect that might have been extremely ridiculous. But now we have big towering rockets like SpaceX's Starship, which may just make the dream of Musk and many others soon possible. In the past, Musk has speculated that colonization efforts could begin this decade, featuring a fleet of starships that congregate in Earth's orbit before heading off to Mars. Musk has backed off from that level of detail as Starship takes shape. While the vehicle has accomplished some awe-inspiring things, it's hard to see how it could be sending dozens of people to the red planet inside of a decade when it has yet even reached orbit. Musk says that the Starship will take humans to Mars and beyond, but getting the Starship to Mars is primarily an engineering problem. This vehicle aims to lower the cost per ton of reaching Mars to the point where a human presence is feasible. According to Musk, no amount of money will get you to Mars right now as the cost to reach Mars right now is about $1 trillion. We have to be a multi-planet species and establish a self-sustaining city on Mars as we cannot be dependent on only one planet for our existence. Humans themselves can destroy the Earth or a natural calamity can do the same. It's remarkable and kind of hard to believe that Earth has been around for four and a half billion years. And this moment could be the first time it's been possible to extend life beyond Earth. The window of opportunity is open and it's wise to act quickly because no one knows for how long we hold this opportunity. Currently, NASA hopes to land Artemis 3 on the moon in 2025, but that timeline is looking suspect due to delays with the SLS and updated spacesuits. SpaceX is also just in the early stages of designing the Starship variant that will land the crew on the lunar surface. If those issues result in another Artemis delay, Musk's proposed timeline could put people on Mars before the moon. That seems like a long shot, but it would be an incredible accomplishment and an indictment of traditional government contractors if it comes to pass. This is not the first time that Musk has hinted at such a timeline for humans landing on Mars. In an interview with Time Magazine earlier this month, Musk said, I'll be surprised if we're not landing on Mars within five years. The timeline has been made slightly more realistic since then, it seems. Though, it should be noted that Musk is notoriously famous for missing deadlines for his targets. Rightly so, as his ambitions are often considered borderline insane, at least until the world sees him achieve them. Landing a man on Mars is one such aspiration. Creating a rocket big enough to do so is another. Getting Starship to Mars is primarily an engineering problem. The goal with this vehicle is to lower the cost per ton of reaching Mars to the point where a human presence is feasible. According to Musk, no amount of money will get you to Mars right now. In the past, Musk has cited 2026 as the year he believes SpaceX will land its first Martian astronauts. But a lot of things could go wrong between now and then. Starship still needs a lot of work, and the first stage super heavy booster has yet to fly at all. Though it seems like Musk, as well as other agencies associated with the endeavor, still have time to figure all of that out. If you also believe that SpaceX will land on Mars within five years, let us know your opinion so that we could bring unique content like this to you. Till then, stay tuned.